Hey guys, in this video I want to make a complete guide on how to install an e-bike conversion kit on your normal bike. So at the end of this video you're gonna feel comfortable to do it by yourself. I've got here the components of the conversion kit, battery support, controller, throttle thumb, LCD screen, a sensor for the pedal assist, a bag, some zip ties. And as tools I'm gonna use normal wrenches, screwdrivers with different headsets, I've got some sandpaper and tape these plastic tools to remove the tire. I'm gonna begin by removing this bottle support and keep these bolts. Place the support on with the bolts from the bottle support. I will test the battery if it goes in and out easily and it does so it means that the support is on the right position. So I'm gonna tighten it then I'm going to disconnect the V-brakes on the front wheel. If you have these brakes, then you don't have to do this. So I can remove the front wheel in order to take out the tire. Then remove the tire using these plastic tools like that. Now I can prepare the wheel. I'm going to use sandpaper on this area. Next, I'm gonna tape it like that. Good. Then place the wheel in position. I will remove the washers and the nuts because it seems like it doesn't want to go inside there from some reasons. I'm gonna sandpaper this fork a little bit. See, there we go, like that. Now I can put back the washers. These washers will actually hold the kit, this wheel, in the position. Like you see, I hand tight it and the wheel will not come out. Then with a 90 millimeter wrench, I'm gonna tie these nuts, not that much. Check the wheel. Good. Now I'm going to remove the foam handle, removing the shifter, removing the brake, and finally removing the bell. If you get this type of screen, then it comes with this plastic support, which you must fit in with two bolts like this. Now to avoid installing this screen upside down, there is a long line on top and it has to stand towards you like this. I want to place this screen all the way like that. Tight it. And on this clamp they give you some kind of rubber spacers to place it between the bike and the clamp like this. So you can tighten it. I'm going to place the switcher as well next to the screen. I think it looks good and is practical. Now I'm going to put back this shifter and the brake. And on the right side I'm going to place the throttle which will go like this. I'm going to find the position. Usually to have enough space for the thumb you got to Slide the shifter towards the center a little bit and the brake as well. Next step is to install the pedal assist sensor and for that I'm going to open the pedal using a 8mm hexagonal. Now it's time to use this pulley. I'm gonna show you in a second how to use it. You have to screw in in the pedal like this and then tighten this bolt inside and hopefully the pedal will come out <sighs> uh. 
I know I make some strange noise, but this is very hard to open. Very difficult. Oh my god. Ah, pedal assist. Oh, thanks God. Right, so now I can install the sensor like that. So basically I'm gonna glue it like this. Then these plates with magnets will come on top and fit like this. And the pedal on top, make sure that is symmetrical with the one on the other side and not put it like this, <laughs> that would be funny, eh? Then this bolt back. So after I install the sensor on the pedal, now I can secure this cable with a zip tie. Then in order to connect the cables, there is a small arrow over here, which should match with another arrow that sits on the cable that's coming from the hub engine. And you should hear a click. And another end of the cable will connect into the controller. Now basically I will bring all these cables together. I'm gonna zip tie them on the frame of the bike in such way that it will look good and the handling of the bike will not be affected. Now since I bring these cables in one point, it's time to install the controller and the controller looks like this. It has different connectors with different colors and shapes. You can easily match them, take them one by one. First we've got the power connectors. You can see black and red will match with black and red and so on. Like let's say the most complicated one. It has five colors, red, blue, black, green and yellow. We're gonna match with the one which has the same colors and the same shape. And they will match together like this. Also click. You'll hear a click. Click. If you want to install the brake levers with the sensor which stops the electricity when you brake, then it's very simple. Just align these nuts over here, take the wire out, then take this knob out and place it on the new brake. You can see there is a special place there, place it like that, let it inside between the threads lock the threads and there we go install it on your bike now since all the cables are connected it's time to place the controller inside the bag nothing fancy just place all the cables inside don't let anything outside what I like to do I like to zip tie the end of the zip so that will not be open by mistake or by someone good right so I've done a little mistake I placed this magnetic plate on the wrong side it has to be with these magnets outside like this otherwise you have to pedal backwards in order to get pedal assist forward which is uh, kind of silly my mistake but luckily it's easy to fix, no big deal. Alright, so everything is done. Now it's time to take this bike for a ride. So I've got level 1 with 50 watts hour. Level 2 around 80, 90 even. Level 3, 150, let it be downhill here, so level 3, 150, level 4, 
it's about 210 220 and level five is maximum which is 350 or even more uphill let's see now on this hill yeah i get around 400 watts assist on level five if i press throttle i get the same so basically level five is full throttle all right guys that was it thanks for watching subscribe and stay tuned for more videos and i will see you next time